Hello everyone and welcome to Highway Academy. In this video, we are going to be looking at a new feature in Civil 3D 2025, which is called Surface Improved Workflows. Now, have you ever worked with LiDAR surfaces or surfaces that have large points of data? Previously, Civil 3D would control the level of detail. So you would either have to select, do you want to enter level of detail? And once you've entered, you could not change it throughout the drawing. That changes in Civil 3D 2025. Now, when you select a surface, you can either choose to have high level of detail or low level of detail. And this does not only apply to one surface. You can select all the surfaces to be shown with high level of detail or level of detail. Or you can select one individual surface. So let's get into the demonstration. In the old versions of Civil 3D, what used to happen is if you had a surface and you open and you selected enter level of detail, you can see when you zoom out, it kind of tries to optimize the drawing to minimize level of detail. And Civil 3D 2025, what happens is when you select a surface, you can choose level of detail. So you can either choose reduced level or high level. So let's say, for example, we select high level. The beauty with this is now you can see we are seeing a high level of detail even when you are completely zoomed out. And this has been improved in Civil 3D 2025. They've kind of made working with MMS surfaces much easier. I know this because in the previous version, this was really a pain. I remember to open separate drawings. And based on the feedback forum, I know they are really improving the MMS workflow. So when you select the surface, so you can again select the surface and you're going to see the difference. So if I choose reduced level of detail, when I zoom out, it's reduced level. When I select this, I can choose reduced level or high level. And wherever I am, I can see the high level. And the beauty with this is, for example, if you have a topographical map and that map, you want to be able to see the detail when you zoom in. So for example, you have a point here and I want to see, okay, this is maybe a bit of a high point. I have to make sure my alignment goes along the contours. That's something that's very important. Now, remember you can do this for one surface or a multitude of surfaces. So for example, if I select this, um, in this drawing, I have a number of surfaces, so I can select. So I can first turn this off. I'm going to turn the merge surface off. And then we, we just have a multitude of surfaces. So we have this surface, we have that surface, we have a multitude of surfaces. So if I select surface and I click select similar, if you go to surface tab, nothing comes up. So now in case you want to change the level of detail of different surfaces. So for example, I have almost four surfaces. All I do is I select all surface. Now there are four definitions that we can look at here. We have all surface LOD high, which stands for all surfaces level of detail should be high. All surfaces level of detail should be low all surfaces level of detail should be high. Now, when you say all surfaces level of detail should be high, when you turn that on, what's going to happen is, I'm going to just give this um, the style that I earlier on made, which is much easier, it's the copy. So you can see uh, the level of surface of detail is really high. Again, you can type in the command all surface LOD low. Okay, then what happens? All surfaces are done, but now, for example, maybe you want one surface to be high and the others to be low. So again, you can see the whole element of when I zoom in the high level, of, uh, the high level of detail comes. For example, I want this surface to have a high level of detail. So what I can do is come near the surface and I select surface LOD high. What has happened is even when I zoom out, the other surfaces have low level of detail while this surface has high level of detail. Now this can help you work as you design further. So for example, if you're designing a certain section and you need the high level of detail, you can make that section high level of detail while looking at the other sections. The level of detail will be very low. 
And in this case, why I love this is if you're designing something like, for example, this was a 76 kilometer expressway and you find that there are sections where you need high level of detail towards the end. So you work on this section, this section like Fair River or something along those lines. And in this section, I want to see the high level of detail. I want to see where is the narrowest crossing. So there's a point here where it's narrow and this point's a bit larger. So this is why I need the high level of detail. And in that case, it makes my work very easy. And the feature that they've turned on that's really good is the new Esri maps. So you can see this section here, um, this is where there's River Nile and we're trying to establish the most optimal crossing point um, for the expressway. So I find that this is very good when you're really trying to deal with large surfaces. So I'm working with an infrawork surface. I'm also working with a lighter surface that we collected. I'm also working with a topographical surface. So I'm working with three surfaces and all these have different levels of detail because sometimes I want to compare what InfraWorks has, the surface it has, and to compare what our topographical team picked and also what the LiDAR aircraft picked. And working with these surfaces in Civil 3D is a breeze. Um, um, it's something that, that's really good. So I hope to see you in the next video and peace out.